r slash ask reddit what company has forever won your business my god this is a pr executive's wet dream it's mostly treat your employees well so they are happy have good customer service and have good products return policy good to know but nothing really groundbreaking don't duck over your customers and they'll stick with you pretty sure we figured that out before 1800 and yet there are tons of companies who still want to give treat customers like shit. Lower quality and jack up price is a shot. Local bike shop. I was about to buy a brand new bike for 1200 and the owner of the shop said to hold on and ran upstairs to grab a bike that was a year old but never used. Sold it to me at cost. Saved 500 bucks and they've serviced it for free every time I go in. The guys who work on the bikes are just as passionate about riding and fixing bikes. The salesman had greasy hands. I trust people who work on what they sell. All the guys I've met at bike shops were the most unique and chill guys ever. Yep. Getting a real bike changed my life. When I upgraded from a Walmart bike with no gears and worn out brakes to a real bike, everything changed. Suddenly I was able to ride in traffic and comfortably get anywhere. I didn't have to worry about shitty brakes or not being able to get up hills. Zajirishi. I bought their rice cooker. It's amazing. Best rice cooker I ever owned by a mile. I bought their water kettle because I love tea and it can do all the temperatures needed for black, oolong, or green easily. It's great to have those on tap and works wonderfully at supplying that. I bought their vacuum sealed travel mug. If anything it's too good. I have to cool my tea to 160 degrees before I put it in or I'll burn my mouth on it 4 hours later. It's still noticeably warm the next day. I've had that through 6 years now. With quite a lot of abuse I've put it through. And I still don't have a second thought about tossing it in any bag because it's never leaked a drop. Easy to clean too. Everything I've ever gotten from them is just top notch. Not cheap, but quality enough to deserve the price. The travel mug is ridiculous. With how long it keeps liquids super hot. Damn it. You must made me order one. Lego. Out of the hundreds of sets I've purchased I've come across one set that had a couple of pieces missing. I went to their site and ordered the pieces. Pieces came a few days later free of charge. I didn't have to jump through a million hoops. Didn't even have to show proof of purchase. They even sent me a nice little letter when I did that for an old set that was discontinued in 2001. Wanted it since I was a kid and finally got it for myself off Bricklink last Christmas. Missing a piece. So I sent a request and they sent me the piece. They'll always have my loyalty. They're the world's largest tire manufacturer. By tires made. Costco. I have a large family so their stuff goes a long way. And you can get a hot dog and soda for $1.50. I would buy Kirtland's signature brand car if they built one. Dude. Their clothes are a gift from above. I will fight someone for my Kirtland leggings. My boyfriend just dug through the pallets for like 15 minutes last weekend at Costco for me to find size small leggings. They are ask me anything zing. Bark's root beer. They're not even particularly good compared to some of their competitors. But their slogan is it's good I appreciate that they're trying to be straight with me. Unlike Pepsi or Coke who are apparently trying to tell me that their product is so great that it will quell civil unrest or otherwise change my life. It used to be it's the one with bite. But prior to that, in the early 90s, when I would guess boardroom types weren't up on the lingo. Bark's slogan was briefly it bites. That was very short lived. Reminds me of Earthbound's slogan it stinks. Darn tough socks. I do shitloads of hiking and their socks are holding up very well. Not to mention, who else offers a lifetime warranty on socks? Redhead, icebreaker, antica that I can't think of on the top of my head. I'm fascinated at the life you have if you know the lifetime warranty policy for 4 stock companies off the top of your head. I know that might sound sarcastic but I assure you it isn't. Humble bundle. Cheap games and a way to donate to charity, leading to an easy excuse to buy even more games. Came here to say this. I forgot to cancel my monthly subscription because I was hurting my credit card limit and couldn't afford another month. Got the email and freaked out. Emailed them, and they fixed it within a day and gave me a full refund even though it was my own fault and they had no duty to, especially since they specified they don't give refunds on bundles usually. So nice of them. 
Corsair. I accidentally broke the mic on my headset a month after their warranty expired. They gave me a brand new one anyway. Them and EVGA are really top notch in the world of PC hardware. Agreed. I buy from one of those two brands quite often. My EVGA power supply came with a 10 year warranty that I didn't even have to sign up for. It's just there and active. The gaming store I have been going to since I was 5. I'm 28. They have known me by name for the majority of my life. My dad's store was just next door to them for years as well. Love that place and have a lot of good memories there. So, not GameStop. Got it. Home Depot. My elderly grandmother was recovering from serious knee surgery, so my grandpa went hunting for a ramp to reach their back door. After several trips to big box hardware stores, he came up empty and felt defeated. As he was leaving Home Depot, they stopped him and said they had a program that does community service projects for people that need it, and they wanted to build him a solution. For free, my Air Force retired grandpa broke down in tears in the store. Not long after that they have a beautifully crafted and stained two-turn ramp complete with safety rails and anti-slip tape. They essentially made their home wheelchair accessible for them and any future owner with needs who may benefit from the setup. Incredible. Sorry Lowe's. But I'm Home Depot all the way for life because of that. I'll provide pics if requested. Me. 15 years old. Hi I'm building a greenhouse for my Eagle Scout project. Can you help me figure out what kind of wood I need, or something like that? Home Depot manager. Sure, I'll donate all the wood. Anchor. I buy all my cables, chargers and portable batteries from them. Never had a problem with any of their products. About a year ago out of the blue they sent me a car charger to try. I did have a problem with Anchor. I sent them an email detailing the issue and asked for troubleshooting and they asked for the SN off the bottom of the charger and my home address. No other questions. Within a week I had a replacement free of charge. I always recommend them and I will always buy from them. Southwest Airlines. I always shop around to get the least expensive tickets. But if I have an option, I'll go with Southwest. I've never had a bad experience with them. And many times I've seen their staff go out of their way to make my experience pleasant. I also love their seating policy. Netflix. I don't care what they have. I just enjoy knowing there's something for me to watch. When I had started my one month free trial, I was planning to just cancel my account and don't pay for it. I liked the experience. But when I saw the email the day before expiration to remind me that I needed to cancel my account to not get charged, I was sold. So many companies are being a-holes and trying to rip you in such situations and Netflix was looking out for me. It was really cool. Leatherman. I've put this on a similar thread, but one time with their customer service made me a lifer. I was gifted a Leatherman at 19 from a summer job. I worked outside a lot, and had it for about 13-14 years. One day I'm in my garage working on something with the Leatherman and snap the smallest flathead on it. I'm a bit devastated having it that long. But I contact Leatherman customer service and they tell me to ship it back for repair. Elated I send it back and then about 2 weeks later I get a package in the mail from them. There's a brand new Leatherman in the package. My old Leatherman. And a note. The note, paraphrased, stated they were unable to repair my broken Leatherman. So I should accept the new one as a replacement. However, they shipped back the old one in case it had sentimental value it did. That small touch right there how a company knows what type of people buy their products touched me and I will forever be a customer of theirs. I received a Leatherman Micra as a groomsman gift nearly 20 years ago. I feel lost without it. That thing has come in handy so many times I can't count. If I ever lose it, it's definitely getting replaced with another from them. Doubletree. Traveled a lot when I was young. 513. And remember at some point I would be disappointed if we didn't stay at Doubletree. Cookies made a kid then into a customer now. They're part of the Hilton hotel chain and you'll get that same service at any place owned by Hilton. Not every Hilton hotel gives guests free crispy cookies. Arizona iced tea. The price has stayed at 99c for decades. The price is on the can. Sweetwater.com. Bought a broadcast boom stand from them. Not even 5 minutes after I bought it they called me and asked if I had any questions. Then they sent me a photo of the stand in the box before shipping. 
When I received the stand I got candy and a catalog. They also periodically call me to see how it's holding up. Man. I love sweet water. I ordered a base off of them and it showed up the next day. Didn't end up liking it too much. So I emailed them. And they gave me credit right then and there to buy a different one. It showed up the very next day as well. Most companies won't give credit until you ship it back. Especially if there is nothing wrong with it. LLB. They will take back anything and refund it or replace it. Seriously. Anything. Such kind people and customer service. Patagonia has the same policy. I had a jacket that tore through normal wear over 18 months. I was just asking customer service if this was an issue with most jackets or if I just got unlucky and they refunded the full price of the jacket without me really asking. USAA. They have the best customer service I have ever encountered. Their rates for auto insurance are low. Credit cards have low interest rates, with high rewards points, and great online and mobile services. Trappist Breweries. They make some sick beer that surely has cocaine or some other magic powder in it. Roquefort 10 is the nectar of the heavens my brother. Logitech makes life products. I bought a Bluetooth keyboard years ago. I use it for games and still works after years of use also the batteries dies every couple of years. I have replaced them just two times. All the Logitech mice I've used have been great and lasted years and years. All of the Logitech headsets I've used have fallen apart literally. In one case, within less than a month of regular use. Some days, I still miss my old Logitech thumb trackball mouse. Subaru. Head on collision. Me going about 45 miles per hour. The little ducker who lost control control of his car. Came into my lane and hit me going about 55 miles per hour. I walked to the ambulance under my own power. I was pretty busted up. But I was back to, more or less, normal within 2-3 weeks. Another car may or may not have done just as good of a job protecting me. But I don't intend to find out. I replaced the car immediately with the exact same model. My Impreza was totaled by a jerk who blazed through a red light at 50 miles an hour. Not only did I walk away, but I managed to get it home under its own power. When it was listed as a total loss, the size of the check I got, only about $10,000 less than I originally paid for it, and more than enough to cover a down payment on a new one, caused me to go right back to the same dealer and buy another one. No regrets. Grubhub. Ordered food and I used the wrong card. Called restaurant they told me call Grubhub. Called Grubhub and they told me all was well. Order will be cancelled. And I can just reorder. Cool I say. Get a call 2 minutes later. Your order has already been delivered. But no worries dinner's on us. Your card is being refunded. Got me some free hot wings. Too long didn't read Grubhub paid for my $40 meal because of a mistake I made. Virgin Wines. I joined when they had a great offer for 12 bottles but unlike other wine clubs, you don't have to buy a certain amount each month. They set you up for it but you can easily opt out. My wife is a member too and was going to buy 4 bottles but because it wasn't part of her monthly subscription they applied delivery costs. So she didn't proceed. She got a phone call the next day as their system detected it was in her basket. She had gone to check out but not bought them. They offered her the free delivery then asked which of the 4 bottles were her favorite and gave her another 2 for free. Carhat. They may not be the cheapest work clothes, but they are comfy as duck. I'm a pretty large guy, so jeans and other brands of work pants often feel a bit too tight when I'm moving around a lot. Also, massive pockets are good. I recently spent $200 for on a bunch of pants shirt shorts. And feel pretty good about them lasting a few years at the very least. Lowe's. They led you right to what you want instead of just pointing. Ace Hardware. They spend as much time as you need in order to solve your problem. Amazon. Ever since the time. Several years back. When they replaced my Kindle with a brand new Kindle for free. Even though it was long out of warranty, I had bought myself a Kindle keyboard not long after they first came out. I study AI I learn it use it all the time. I can't read on LCD screens for more than an hour without a horrendous headache that no pain meds can kill. 
One day, after I had had it for at least two years, I had laid it on top of my basket of laundry to take to the living room with me. It fell off, on its corner, and the screen absolutely shattered. I got in touch with customer service to see how much a repair would be since it was out of warranty, and I didn't want to buy a whole new one if it would be cheaper to get it repaired. The guy was like, nope, we'll just send you a brand new one for free, just return the broken one. I had a brand new Kindle for free in about 3 days. The guy even followed up with me to make sure I got all my purchases moved over onto the new one. Amazon will forever be my favorite. USAA, insurance, banking, everything is a breeze with them. I had an accident about a year ago from someone backing into me in the parking lot. From filing the initial claim bringing it to a body shop of my choice, giving me a rental, everything was easy, can't beat the insurance premiums either, been with them for 5 years now, every 12 months I shop around for quotes just out of curiosity and each time fear the cheapest, the can't beat them. Subaru, wife and I were in a car crash in February, idiot made an illegal left and we were doing 50 miles per hour. Tore the front end off both cars and we walked away with cuts and bruises. Immediately replaced it with an impreza. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru